Genesis chapter 12 God speaks to Abraham. One night, Abraham was returning from looking after his flocks in the pasture land around Haran. I have everything, he told himself. So why do I feel I have nothing? talked to himself for a while as the sunlight flared on the horizon and then flickered and sank into the blueness of a cold evening. Still, he reflected on his good fortune of his life, his wealth, his comfort, and the security of his home in Aaron. He was 75 years old. There was no point now in mourning for a child who would never be born. Then, sat there, listening to his own thoughts and trying to reason within himself. It seemed that another voice was speaking to him. At first, it was so soft that he thought that it was in his imagination. Perhaps he had fallen asleep for a moment and was dreaming. Perhaps it was the wind shaking the date palms which arched over the ancient wells of Haran. Abraham. The voice was clearer. This was not inside his mind. It was outside. It was deep and strong and all around him. And yet, far above him. I am the Lord, your God, said the voice. Now Abraham stood up, for fear had seized him. Who was this? In Haran, people believed in many gods. Everywhere there were altars and idols and little temples of the many gods of the East. But this, this was the Lord God speaking. Abraham, leave your country, urged the mysterious voice. Abraham looked around him, but he could see nothing, no one. Only the night and the distant fires in the city and the stars in the freezing darkness above. Leave? You must leave everything. Your people, your father's household. Go. Abraham repeated the command to himself, whispering, already sensing that he had to obey. Go to the land that I will show you. And now the voice of God was singing in his heart. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. Sarah gazed out of the doorway, trembling. Where was her husband? Had something terrible happened to him? If she lost him, there would be nothing for her but sorrow and, and death. Suddenly, she saw a figure far down the road. He was running. He was waving. Sarah, Sarah, we must go. Go? She had no idea what he was talking about. Leave? We have to leave Heron? Leave our home? Why? What's happened? Why? 
Abraham was already in the house. We must call the servants. We must tell them to get everything ready. What is this madness? Leave our home? Our land? Our families? The Lord has spoken. Sarah looked at her husband, and he looked at her. And in that gaze between them was a whole world of understanding. She had known and loved him for 50 years. And in his eyes, she saw a blazing fire. And she felt the presence of the Lord of heaven and earth. Sarah knew for herself that God had spoken. <laughs>